hey everyone welcome back so today in this video we are going to learn about how we can change the slicer background color in power bi it means previously we don't have that options to change the background color of a selected slicer or that may be for unselected slicer button even we don't have that options to change the color during the hover of the pointer right so let me clear you first for doing this, first of all, we have to import one custom visual from Marketplace. Because in default slicer, we don't have the options to change the background color during selector or unselected or that may be during hovering of the pointer. Alright? So, let's move further and see how we can achieve the slicer background color problem. Alright? Here you can see we have already imported one Excel file called as the orders table to our power bi desktop environment okay so let's select the slicer here and drag the category column to the field section here then go to the format and change the orientation to horizontal then just change the size of the default slicer okay and after that go to the value section and here you can see only we can change the text color and background color of the unselected slicer button right but we don't have that options to change the color of the selected slicer button also we don't have that options to change the color during hover right so let's solve this problem so for doing that first of all you have to click on this three dot options then click on this get more visuals okay then in the search button you have to search here c h i c l e t chiclet slicer okay and here it is so just click on this then click on this add button and add this chiclet slicer in our visualization section okay so just add it and here you can see our chiclet slicer has already been successfully imported into our visualization section right so click on ok after that just click on this chiclet slicer and bring it to this canvas area all right so here it is right and for creating this chiclet slicer it need category along with category we can put the values also all right but for now just drag the category field and put it in the category sections all right so here you can see only office suppliers why you are not able to see the furniture and technology because in this slicer we have selected the office suppliers right so just deselect it then now you can see all the fields which are available in category column right so just click on it then go to format and after that click on this chiclets all right then you can resize it as for your need so let me make it text size 13 then let me change the height to 61 okay and after that just change the width to 148 all right and here you can change the background color but let me keep it in white color all right then here you can see the option called selected color right so whenever you will select any buttons from the slicer then the color should be look like that so let me change the color okay so just click on this drop down options then click on more then change the code to control b okay then click enter all right or you can click outside of this box all right then change the hover color to this okay then click enter or you can click outside also all right and here also you can see another options that is on selected color right so let me change the on selected color okay and put it as this all right then click enter then change the color of the text to white all right so where it is okay so this is a text color so change this to white all right so here you can see whenever i am taking my pointer to that particular buttons the hover option is activated right and you can see the color of the text is changing when i'm taking the pointer on the top of this particular button right 
and apart from that when i am selecting this particular button at the time also you can see the color of this particular selected button has been changed to green right then just close this header part okay let me off it okay then resize it as per my need then okay then go to general and here you can see in the effects sections we have different options called as the background so let me off the background okay then let me on the shadow part okay so now here you can see our slicer is looking much more better than the default slicer right so in this way we can solve our background color problem in slicer all right so thanks for watching